First at five, a video circulating on social media showing one woman's frustration with wearing masks. The video is of a woman recording while she's following Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf out of a local HEB while calling him names for imposing mask mandates. Tiffany Huertas takes a look at that video and explains this isn't the first time Judge Wolf has been confronted with frustration during the pandemic. As Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf pushed his shopping cart to his car, a San Antonio woman unhappy with mask mandates began following him and recording him. Putting masks on kids, that's child abuse. In the video, the woman calling him different names. He's a traitor, Nelson Wolf's a traitor and a communist. The video posted on Instagram by Ashley Rock's hair. It happened at the HEB on Northwest Military Highway on Sunday. In a statement to KSAT, Ashley reasoned with her video, saying in part, quote, This is far bigger than just Nelson Wolf. We the people need to know who stands for us and not against us, end quote. A spokesperson for the county says there was no altercation and no one was harmed. It's unclear if Wolf filed a complaint with a law enforcement agency, but he did release a statement in response to the video. He says, I realize after a year and a half, we all are experiencing COVID fatigue from wearing masks and other public health guidelines. Now is not the time to stop and let our guard down. Our numbers are coming down slowly. Let's keep this downward trend going. Mask up, keep social distance and sanitize. We reached out to HEB and local law enforcement, but haven't heard back. This is at least the second public incident Wolf has been involved in over masks. In June 2020, Wolf was in a checkout line at a Lowe's store when a cashier told a customer that wearing a mask was required. Required. The customer grew upset, so Wolf intervened. The judge tried to hand the customer a business card, and the man smacked the business card out of Wolf's hand. The man involved was arrested, and he was charged with disorderly conduct, a misdemeanor. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.